To write the formula for barium phosphate, we go to the periodic table and we look up barium, which is Ba. Phosphate, that's not on the periodic table. It ends in this ATE, and that tells us this is a polyatomic ion, and we either need to have it memorized or look it up on a table of common polyatomic ions. When we look it up, we see it's PO4, 3 minus. So we have barium, that's the metal, and then the phosphate, that's a group of nonmetals. Metal and nonmetals, that's ionic. And then we need to think about the charges, these ionic charges, when we write the formula for barium phosphate. Barium, that's in group 2. We looked that up on the periodic table, it's in group 2. 2 plus ionic charge. We said the phosphate here has a 3 minus. So these need to add up to 0 to give us a net charge of 0, which they don't right now. We can use something called the crisscross method to make that happen. We can change the subscripts, and we'll move the 3 here and the 2 out here. Get rid of this. And then we need to put parentheses around the phosphate. That's a polyatomic ion. We have two of them. So we'll put parentheses around the phosphate, and this is the formula for barium phosphate. Let's check our work to make sure we got that right, though. We said barium, that had a 2 plus ionic charge, looking at the periodic table. Phosphate, that had a 3 minus. I have two phosphate ions. Each one's 3 minus. 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. Barium, I have three bariums. 3 times the 2 plus, 6 plus. 6 plus, 6 minus, that adds up to 0. So we have a net charge of 0. This is the correct formula for barium phosphate. Let's clean this up. And that's it, barium phosphate, Ba3. PO42. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.